go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It is stoned ring time, so... Basically... The rules going forward... I actually wait until some people join in. I'm going to share... I'm going to go ahead and share the broadcast real quick with the people who need it. And then we will get right on with the stone ring. So basically what's going to be happening is I'm going to start a new character and every time I die I'm going to go right ahead and hit a hit off of my bong and since I am not the greatest Elden Ring player we are probably going to get absolutely slapped in the face tonight so I definitely recommend you stick around if you want to hear me just get absolutely lit off of my mind But, I got one more for, oh, well, I want to tweet this out. I'm going to tweet my link out real quick, and then we will go right ahead and get on with it. I have an idea for a character name, and if anyone else has an idea for a character name, please let me know. I may actually break my bong out and join you. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Aitzen, go right ahead and join me. Every time I die or every time you feel like it, my dude. Alright. So, do you have an idea for a character name? I know what build we're going to go ahead and start as, and it's going to be the bare bones build where we start out with fucking nothing. I'm gonna break open my Gatorade real quick. That was painless. New game. And we're gonna go with the wretch is what it is called. Should we play as male as male or female? I don't have a female character yet. Female? Alright. We'll go with female. God, it's kinda sexist that females type B, huh? God, you saying women don't come first? Let's get a mature MILF. Should we go with a keepsake? I don't know what's good. Increases maximum HP. Hot dog queen. Bro. I don't know. Lands between rune. Seems like a good one. I think we're just going to go right ahead with the lands between rune.
Yeah, we'll go with mature voice one. Uh, skin color. Should we go skin tone or should we make a wacky looking character? As odd as possible. Sounds good, man. Uh, what odd colors do we have here? They do seem to go pretty good, but I think a red would be dope. I think I think that's what we're gonna go with. Face template, facial structure. Perfect hair. I think... We definitely don't want the hair to match the skin tone. Make an albino. I mean, we could. But I kind of like this red color. Female with a beard? Nah. Oh, I'm yes. Okay, we'll 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 go with um. We'll go there. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't look like that's really doing anything. So, I'll go ahead and go back. Very Mark Twain. My other character looks like Keanu Reeves, which I didn't do on purpose, but he does indeed look like Keanu Reeves. I'm not seeing where this is at. Is it like a in the hairline? Because that doesn't really do us any good. Oh! It's because it was matching the skin tone. Here, we'll make it... We'll make it white for now. Can you eye patch both eyes? You can. Uh, you just wear a blindfold. If you want me to do that, I can, I guess. But I don't know if that actually affects what you can see in the game. I hope not. I think it's just for cosmetics, right? What color should we make it? 
nah, two eye patches are better. Uh, yeah, I mean, I agree, but, like, the game does it as a blindfold. So do you want me to go with the blindfold, or do you want me to not go with the blindfold? She just looks like a dude. We <laughs> we took a uh, we took a female character and we made them transgender. Teal blindfold. Isn't teal, like, blue-ish? Or am I dumb? This is, like, teal, right? Green? I like the green. It's bright. It's obvious. Blue and green? I wish, man. Uh, you can only make the blindfold one color. Unfortunately. So we would have to choose one or the other. That's teal. Uh, okay. It was on this one. So, are we good? Is this what our characters are going to be like? She's a naked female Robin Hood. You're goddamn right. That went blind. by choice. Alright, so... What for a name? I had an idea. I was planning on naming the character for tonight Boink. But Hot Dog Queen, I don't know about. Do you have any other ideas? Or is it just Hot Dog Queen? Boinquette? We'll go with that. Since it's a she, yeah. We'll go with Boinquette. That's weird enough. Alright, so there we go. Super base. Shit, starting the game with this character, is that okay? It depends on who you ask, but if you're asking me, definitely. So I'm going to have to um, re-up on the controls, which I know they go through on the tutorial, but uh, I skipped the tutorial on my first go, completely on accident, so we'll see how it goes. And then I came back and I beat the first boss and it took like four hits. The tutorial boss, not, um, the grafted guy. The fallen leaves tell a story. I've been through that whole song and dance. You guys can listen to it on your own time.
tarnish wizened finger. Yeehaw. Good luck, it says. No safety ahead. Could they be liars? No, I remember this. And since we are blindfolded, it actually looks like it does indeed affect our, our view, but not by much. Oh. Goddamn. Oh shit. Okay. That was fucked. Well, I guess technically that's our first long rip, so... Uh, I need to get a lighter, it looks like. If there's not one on this couch that I'm sitting on, I'll be right back. Alright, it's bong rip time, boys. So my bowl is full of keef for this first hit, because I'm running out of actual weed, so... Cheers. Good start, good start. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. I'll let her ride. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Oh shit, she said it. That's the name of the game. It does violate the Golden Order. Oh yeah. It's game time, boys. Ah, the Cave of Knowledge. Wow. Eek. Didn't mean to do that bullshit. I can level up already, right? Probably. No. Of course I can't level up.
Oh. So wait, were you supposed to die back there? Yes, actually. Dying to that boss is part of the story, oddly enough. But this isn't the first game I played that does that. I mean, kinda, but I did die, and the rules specified that if I die, I do indeed take a bong rip, and I think that if I didn't, I would be a pussy, and also, I wanted to get stoned anyway. Come on, bitch. Drop a weapon. Drop to nothing. So, I think I'm still gonna go with a strength character for this build. Make a big, hard hitting lady. But I don't think anything really gets dropped in the tutorial either. So, I think I'm going to be on this build for a minute. I guess he's just going to go in ahead and do that. But, hitting hard in this game definitely isn't a bad thing. Especially once you get strength and you can wield, like, war hammers. Uh, you can also do a lot of damage to a lot of the metal um, enemies that are in the game. I don't know why I went through that guy. Can you dual wield? Huh. I don't think well, yeah, actually, you can, I believe. If, if my memory is correct, yes. But I'm also dumb a lot. But a lot of the strength weapons, or at least the big one... Dual wield war hammers. Damn guy, that's a crazy request. So after we beat this uh, tutorial boss, maybe if I can see him. Okay, there he is. Aw, oh, shit. So after I die to this tutorial boss. <laughs> I need to go let my dog in. Well. There we go. That is a, uh, she's a roller. Get her the papers. Hell yeah, dude. That's a fucking meme and a half. I like that. So, first try. Oh, we did good. 
first off, give up. Yeah, n pussies. All of you. Weak. Weak. Elden Ring, but not here. Damn right it's not here. Gotta fight a lot harder for that thing. Strength. I think that's just a gesture. I, I don't know though. Grace point. Cooperative multiplayer, baby. So now can I level up or do I have to wait even longer? Yeah. I have to wait even longer. World time. Am I running the wrong way? How much longer do you have? Wait for close. Um, I think it depends. So there are a couple ways I could go about it. Uh, go about getting armor or close. And one way is to rely on drops, which I could do probably fairly easily. Or at least not too much like backbreaking work. Or I could find them in chests, which is significantly easier. But... I would also have to find a chest. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. So that man's just, you know, triggered I don't have a maiden. What the fuck? That person eyes creepier than her? Yeah. I think he's wearing a mask. I'm not 100% sure. But it looked like he was wearing a mask. So, that guy's a big boy. So we can't fight him yet. But what we can do is run over here. And find something else. I don't necessarily want to fight those big old bat boys yet either. But we'll find something. <laughs> yeah, I'll fight the boss if I want to just go ahead and rip my bomb. So I think we're going to fight that guy, and he's going to be our first official kill of the game. Because I don't really count the tutorial. Or animals. The cow was. It was actually a goat. But I don't want to count animals because they're just so easy. And they can't even fight back. Is 
same thing. Um, no. But all right. What is this? Die, Warthog. Gokuris. Now we have a bladed weapon. OMG, what? That I just destroyed his bottom? She's actually a fucking beast. Dude, you're goddamn right she's a fucking beast. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Put them down here, though. Two Kukuris. Die. So, this is our first piece of armor, and I don't know if we're going to be able to wear it yet, mm, but it can't hurt to try. And now we have our first piece of armor, which is a helmet. So we're going to walk around like this for a while. Looks pretty goofy, but we do have an armor rating now, and we're still not above weight. Gorgeous indeed. It's a fucking vibe. Die, fool. Lordsman's bolts, which are four crossbows, which we do not have yet. So now we just kind of have an item to have an item. I can't fight those boys yet, and I don't want to get attacked by the fly, so we're just going to run right through here. Yeet. That's a statue up there, by the way, that weird guy, if you noticed him. And I kind of have to rediscover the map, as it were. Because it's been quite a while since i played, and even longer since I've been back at the beginning area. I keep on hitting triangle to try to pick up these items, so I might have to switch the controls. Uh, if that keeps on being a problem. I can't remember if I'd be under leveled to go in here or not. So that's going to be fun to uh, discover. Here's a grace point, which means shit would hit the fan. I want to offer promotion of your channel, viewers, to followers, views, channels, bots, the price is lower than any. Um, I would rather stay away from botting my views and also paying for promotions. That's not really my style. I kind of more uh, stream for fun for now. <laughs> oh man, sold. Yeah, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. A lot of people are dying right here. Which is because I am not supposed to be here yet.
I remember these goblin boys. They're pretty big. And that one's pretty fucking dead. Thank you, bro. Oh, I forgot about that. And we got problems. Oh shit, there's two of them. Oh, that's a problem. Bong rip two time. Bong rip two time. Alright, so I'm going to get my runes back. Um, but other than that, we're going to go ahead and leave this cave because I'm way under level. And I don't have good enough equipment to do that. So, cheers, we're going to do this whole bong rip thing. And if you got your bongs at home, feel free to join me. Okay, since we died, among dying you will be... If I've got less set of grace you visited, fucking lose your runes, but you can retrieve them. If you die, they disappear, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I actually needed to let her back in. But, uh, since I thought I needed to let her back in, she stopped barking. So I assume she was barking at something she could see or hear. And not because she wanted to be let inside. But thank you for remembering because I totally forgot. So we got our runes back. And we're going to go back to an area where we can actually reasonably survive. So we are actually going to change our controls. And we're going to make triangle. And we're going to make... Where is X? We're going to make that triangle. Alright. So now... Someone likes triangle. Uh, yeah, so... I keep on wanting to hit triangle to pick up items. So I would jump every time I tried to pick up an item. And for obvious reasons, that can be a huge problem. So hopefully we remedy that situation and I don't try to correct myself preemptively. But so far it looks like we're doing pretty good. It's hard to hit people when you're not locked onto them. It was good. Do you mean uh, your bong rip? Make lock-on triangle, you'll never miss. Uh, yeah, so I'm used to the lock-on mechanic. Uh, because to me it makes sense. You're jumping randomly. Not necessarily. So I'm going to want to go here, because that is part of a map. Uh, that's what was good. 
Oh, okay, my jumping randomly was good. I get you now. Oh shit. Ah. I see. They also drop good stuff. A mushroom. That wasn't a drop, thankfully. That was just growing there. Alright, so the map is in there, behind all of these guards, and there are actually quite a few big boys in here. But what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to try to lure out the outer ones, and then take them kind of one at a time. Jesus Christ! And if I can land one of these jump hits, I should be able to automatically break his guard. Or do that. That works too. So, maybe she likes... Maybe she likes big boys. It's very possible that she likes big boys. Gate front runes. Oh, the memories. So there is a grace point right up here, which we are going to collect. And then we're going to start killing and collecting items, and hopefully we get some armor out of this, and... Shortly after this, if not right after this, we should be able to level up as well, which is something I want to do. So, in there is a chest. I'm going to go right ahead and open that chest because there's a weapon in it. And it's a Lordsman's great sword, which means the axe is on the other side. So should I wield the sword? Oh, I can't wield the sword. Ah, fuck. I need strength, which is what we're going for. But we do need to kill to get it. But that sword is good. I've used it before. Stealth seems very easy. Is that just because it's early game? Um, mostly because it's early game and I'm very vulnerable, so I have to pick off these guys one at a time if I can because this game's combat gets really overwhelming really, really fast. But that's not to say that I couldn't take two of these guys at the same time. That's what she said. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that. He was kind of low health, so I guess that doesn't count. And the other guy wasn't really near me. Oh, shit. Never hit a lady. get his shield. I can only get his shield if he drops it. So if he dropped his shield, I would be able to get it. But in here is another item, and it is indeed another weapon. So we're going to go ahead and, and open that, and our strength probably won't be high enough. Oh, it's a flail. Maybe we'll be able to equip the flail. No, we cannot. That is a dexterity weapon.
That didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. But it worked out just the same. So he's a big boy. And his shield is good. But we're going to get the map really quick. And I do have throwables, so we'll throw a Kukuri at him. And that's going to hit beautifully. We're going to get off the lock-on, since they're going to be calling everybody now. Which is very unfortunate. But maybe we'll still be able to pull this out of my ass. And if not, then I'll just get more high about it. Oh shit. Oh shit! Don't want to run that way. That's where the people is. Okay, so if we can keep them single file, you're dead. You you think you're calling it, huh? So the other guys are already walking away. Oh shit. So as long as I can kill this guy, I should be able to just go in for more attacking. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Shit. That was greasy, dude. I was too far away. I was too far away. Ah. So it looks like we might get this guy. But not like that. Or like that. Holy shit. How did I even get away from that? Okay. So we got him right there. And he didn't drop a weapon. Or anything. Armor would be nice. But I did not die, fortunately. I lived to fight another second. Which is bad news for this guy. Oh shit. And me. And me. And me. Oh shit. I've got a hat. I do have a hat. But I'm gonna fucking die about it. Cause that boy is not to be fucked with. So I'm gonna try to run out of range from him. I'm gonna run towards this gray site. Because I don't want to fucking die. Right this second. <laughs> that was intense. I didn't like that shit one bit. <sighs> Cutscene. Greetings. So I'm going to let this play for you, and I'm going to go get my puppy. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are I'm back. I can play the I fell down the stairs, stairs, by the way. Turning runes into strength. To aid 
you in your search for the Elven Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Good bong rip. Hell yeah. Okay, what? I wasn't really paying attention. We'll go to the Elf Tree. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent time, baby. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Level up time, baby. To strength. Let my hand rest upon you. Yeah, you're about to literally turn it to strength. Share that with me. Your thoughts. Your ambitions. Alright, so here's how the leveling works, and these are all of the stats we can level up. So what we're going to want to go for with a strength build is some vigor, which is going to increase our health. Our strength, which is going to obviously increase our strength. And it looks like we can only get the strength up to 15 for now. Uh, that's not bad, I suppose, putting us at level 7. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that for now. And we're going to turn both our flasks into or all four of our flasks into health flasks, since I'm not going to be using much magic in this playthrough. And it looks like that's going to do it for now. I'll just rest until morning, and then we will continue on with the story. Still can't wield our weapons, but that should change very soon. And now that we can level up and that we have access to Torrent, we will definitely be able to do that a lot quicker. And there's also a huge rune farm around here. You, yeah, you there. Stop pretending you can't see me. Oh. What you go and do that for? Ooh. Oh, yes, I remember. Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Oh. What a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Or, well, if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Right, but I'll need a moment. I'm... I'm frightened of them, so I have to gather myself. 
My knees start knocking, just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. Right, but I'll need a moment. I'm, I'm frightened. All right. So that is the rest of his monologue. So it looks like there's a cave on the shore. that we would need to find. But let's go ahead and do some rune farming and also item farming. Because if we're going to get some clothes, we're going to need to start killing motherfuckers. Those guys attack fast. Here's an item. Bolts for crossbows. Can't exactly use that. Alright. Forgot I could do that. How did I... Okay. I gotta know how to use... this thing over here because I can use it like that but I also know I can use a menu option of some sort to use it but I forgot how so I might need to look at the controls But Torrent definitely makes it a lot easier to fight people. But we're obviously not going to use him for all of our combat. So, up here... This is a big rune farm. Those big guys give off a thousand runes each. But the problem is, as you can imagine, they are difficult to kill, especially with a club. I'm going to do some exploring over here. Waypoint runes. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. There's a boss around here. And there's also all this shit. Okay, I'm poisoned. Alright, time to get the hell out of here.
Oh, snap. Are you guys still chasing me? They are. Okay, well I'll try killing this guy anyway. That was easy. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. A glintstone staff. Since we're not going to be using magic, oh geez. Since we're not going to be using magic, we're not going to need the staff, so we can sell that for runes, which is going to be good. Uh, I'm going to die. Oh. That was fucking close, Jesus Christ. Why is he so hard to kill? There we go, holy god damn. Alright, so this poison is lasting fucking forever. So I'm probably gonna goddamn die from poison. Unless I find a grace site really soon. Oh my god, I'm really gonna die from poison, huh? Fuck. Are you seeing this shit? Alright, bong rip time. I died from poison. So I gotta get reloaded up here. I don't know if you're still in the chat or not. break off a little piece of this keef right here and then I gotta go find my runes but what I can do is I can use my golden runes and I can redeem them and then I can level up my strength and wield that sword So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we leveled our strength up to level 16, which means we should be able to wield that sword. And we can. Fuck. I forgot how to duel, or, uh, use both hands. So we're going to rest here just to get our, um, 
other thing back. And then we are going to use torrents. to go get our runes back. And now we'll be able to kill people faster with a bigger sword. In theory. I figured it out. It's holding triangle. Alright, well now that I know that... Got that reach, baby! how it's done and that dagger would have been really cool if we didn't already have this sword would have been damn damn dandy so we're going to get back where our stuff is It's really hard to get the timing right on these swings when you're both running full speed on horses. But it is possible. And then you can do that. And that right there is how you defeat those guys. And this right here is how you defeat those guys. Oh, this sword makes this game so much more easy. Alright, so... Let's quit messing around before we die again. Because we do have items to get back. So now we got our runes back, so that brings us to a total of 1,600, which doesn't seem like much, but since we're in the beginning of the game, every little bit really ha goes a long way. And our first magician that we actually have combat with. I love that reach, man. Man, combat is going pretty ridiculous, huh? Oh, 
shit, I did not see that combo coming. Alright, so let's let, let's see what he drops. Frozen Raisin. That helps us zip zero nada. Or at least that I know of. So glad that I didn't miss. But I sure wish he did. I don't know how they didn't see me just pop up out of nowhere, but um, I'm going to try to kill him. Again, I did not see that combo coming. Right in his face. Where'd the other guy go? I know there was three of them. Is that him right there? Just watching the slaves work. Oh shit, magician. Dead magician. Oh shit, another magician. Oh god. So both the magicians are now conquered. So that is a good thing. But now these guys are all looking at me. Four hundred rooms. So we're sitting pretty good.
I don't know, should I go for it or not? How much chaos do we want tonight? We'll go for it. I did it, kind of. Oh. There's also a horse boy over there. Oh, he is looking at me. Come on, man. Quit playing around. Savage. Savage. Oh, Savage. Oh, shit. We got him. And we got the Caden Helm. Awesome. Depends on how you look at it, I guess. It looks better. So we'll go with it. I love how we're getting, um, dual helmets today. Oh, landed it. Not that one. That one. Oh, shit! God damn it! visited gray site in a minute man god damn it that's another one all right get your bongs ready everybody that was awful Hopefully it's not too far away. Oh, it's literally right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just take that. We have almost 3,000 runes. I would say we're not doing too bad thus far. You guys think that'd be fair to say? As I say that, I get lit on fire. Alright, we got a lot of items here, and we finally get to put on clothes. And pants, dude. How lucky can we get? Alright, what did this guy drop? Even better pants, probably. Alright, so we're gonna go right here. And we're going to equip our uh, new clothes. Emperor's new clothes. And now, we are heavy. 
But we are lit. Are we heavy? One second. Where's my load at? Medium load, okay. So we're doing pretty good. Now we have a full set of armor, so that is awesome. And a decent sword. So I'm going to look at my controls, and I want to see how to dual wield. Would it be switch left hand armament? I guess not. I'm not seeing it. There's another rune slash item farming area right over here where there is a big combat zone with a bunch of things fighting. So we're going to go over there and test our luck and also our new equipment. string so that was easy thought there was one more guess not no items Other than the ones we have already collected, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick. I know these guys aren't big, but there are quite a few of them. And they don't die in one hit, apparently. I thought I was going to get him with that one swing. Got him. Not getting anything extremely cool yet, but we do look pretty sick. I do like our look. And a gray sight, so it looks like we're going to be able to level up some more. Since we have collected a good chunk of runes, almost 5,000. Well, almost 5,000 being pretty generous. 
4,000. So we're going to level up our strength a little bit more, and our vigor a little bit more. And that looks like it's going to be that. And then we're going to keep on going with our 522 runes we have left. I don't want to keep walking that way, but I also don't want to fight them yet. This, kind, this place is kind of overleveled from what I remember. So I think we're just going to keep on walking around here and just kind of killing whatever we can. Without dying, hopefully. Eek. Kill me. Try to. Okay, he's going to engage in combat with me. And they die in two hits as well. So this could be fun. Or it could not. Oh, shit. Alright, that turned not fun really goddamn fast. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's four of them now. Fuck! Would have been a total of five. And I just ripped right through that crowd of them. Oh my god. Damn. Holy shit. Oh my god. Hey, look, a, gold, a golden rune. And I only got 200 runes for that. Oh my fuck. That sucked ass. But we got through it. And that's what matters. So I know there's a dragon right around this area, and the only way I was able to kill it before is cheesing it with magic on a horseback. That shit sounds like a mission. But I think it's just them talking gibberish.
I could probably defeat that whole village now with our setup. So that's what we're going to go ahead and try and do. And then after that, I think we're going to go ahead and try to break past that barrier, that gateway that leads to some more of the world. Because you don't actually need to kill everyone in there, you just need to run through it. So I think we're going to try to run through it just so we can explore some more and get some more items for our character. And then maybe circle back around to that later. I do wish we had a shield. Uh, so far, that's the only complaint to this build. Either I wish I had a shield, or I wish I could use this weapon two-handed. Either one of those would be appropriate. try to sneak behind this guy and just murk him right where he stands. I'm going to run right around here, take these other two out on the outside, and then we'll just kind of work our way in. go. One more down. Okay, that wasn't good. Alright, so now we got him. And I have three health flasks left. Which means if I take out the big boy now... Maybe he won't be such a burden. Or maybe the rest of this whole thing won't be so difficult. We can only hope. So if I can get the big boy out, and we don't have any throwables, so that's out the window. But if we could wait for him to come back, and then hit like a big hit on him, and then run. Maybe that could work.
I can use this entire place with a horse. That would work too, I said, I guess. But that's not as fun, is it? I need to heal. I need to heal. Oh, shit. Okay. I got this. It's easy juice. He's not even one of the hard big boys. He's just a normal big boy. Oh my god. only need to hit him one more time. Oh, but he only need to hit me one more time. Holy shit. Alright, rack him up, boys. Lost a head 1,100 runes. Keep in mind,